Hi there! This video is here to help you with estimating by rounding to check your answers. When we estimate, we form an idea of the answer before we calculate it. This means that if the answer to a calculation is not what we expected, we can check the calculation again. We can complete an approximate calculation to help us estimate. When we approximate an answer, we complete a close calculation mentally before completing the actual calculation using the written method. To complete a close calculation, we use rounding. When we round a number, we round it to the nearest multiple. So if we're rounding to the nearest thousand, we're rounding it to the nearest multiple of a thousand. If rounding to the nearest 10,000, we are rounding it to the nearest multiple of 10,000, and so on. Let's have a look at an example of using rounding to estimate an answer. Our calculation is 836,374 subtract 128,152. We can round these numbers to the nearest multiple of 100,000, 10,000, 1,000, 100 or 10. The smaller the place value we round to, the more accurate our estimate will be, but it can make the mental calculation more difficult and slower. So let's say we'll only round to the nearest multiples of 100,000, 10,000 or 1,000 for the six digit numbers in this calculation. Let's start with 836,374. When we round to the nearest multiple of 100,000, the previous multiple is 800,000 and the next multiple is 900,000. So the midpoint is 850,000. 836,374 is closest to 800,000. So 836,374 is 800,000 when rounded to the nearest multiple of 100,000. We can repeat this process for rounding 836,374 to the nearest multiple of 10,000 and see that it is 840,000. And for rounding 836,374 to the nearest multiple of 1,000 and see that it is 836,000. We would repeat the same process for rounding 128,152. If you would like to practice rounding to the nearest multiple of 100,000, 10,000 and 1,000, pause here and have a go. We can put our rounded numbers in our approximate calculations. So, 836,374 subtract 128,152 becomes 800,000 subtract 100,000. 840,000 subtract 130,000. Or 836,000 subtract 128,000. Pause here and work out the answers to these three possible estimations mentally. Which did you find easier or quicker to calculate mentally? We know that we're expecting the answer to our calculation to be approximately 700,000, 710,000 or 708,000. Let's use the written method now. So the answer to the calculation using our written method is 708,222. Let's see if this is close to our estimations. It is, so it's more likely to be correct. When you round to estimate your answer, you only need to do one approximate mental calculation, but you'll need to choose which multiple you should round to. Remember, the smaller the place value we round to, the more accurate our estimate will be, but it can make the mental calculation more difficult and slower. In this example, rounding to the nearest multiple of 1000 was the closest to the actual answer, but it is easier to mentally calculate 840,000 subtract 130,000.
than 836,000 subtract 128,000. So rounding to the nearest multiple of 10,000 might have been better. Now it's your turn. The calculation is 511,468 add 382,694. Choose which multiple you are going to round to for your estimation and mentally calculate your approximation. Then use a written method to find the answer and compare it with your estimation to see if you are likely to be correct. Pause here and restart when you have your answer. How did you get on? Which approximation did you use? What was your estimate? 511,468 add 382,694 equals 894,162. I hope this has helped you to understand how to use rounding to estimate answers. If you're looking for more maths help, we have lots of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching.